<laughs> yeah, I think all dogs can, right? They comfort us when we're sad. They right. come on over, and when I'm smiling, maybe she's in a better mood, too. And if you frown, then Maya then goes scooting, running away? Yeah, she knows she's in trouble <laughs> at that point. <laughs> well, would Maya be happy or sad about the uh, forecast right She now? loves the forecast. She could stay outside all day if she wanted to because she absolutely loves the cold weather. Nice. And snow, she loves that, too. All we're right. looking at a little bit of that right now on Doppler 13 radar, especially as we look up in north central Indiana. I want you to first notice what's happening south of I-70. Those are some flurries that are falling apart. As you look up towards Peru, however, that's going to be a snow band off of Lake Michigan that's going to be bringing some very heavy snow showers as we take a look at Bunker Hill from our SkyTrack Weather Bug Network. In just the last 20 to 30 minutes, the roads here have become snow covered, and that's exactly what we're going to see under some of these heavier bands in our northern viewing area. It's going to be a very narrow area that gets heavy snow, but very quick accumulation will be possible. Compare that to Greenfield, where we're seeing blue sky mixed with the clouds. A little bit of snow this morning, officially in Indianapolis, just less than a quarter of an inch of snow. And as we started to look up towards Anderson, we had about an inch of snow. Live Doppler 13 radar showing that heavier snow band right now just north of Kokomo. But what I want you to notice is we still have some scattered flurries out there, and that's what we're going to see throughout the rest of the day. Noblesville, Fortville, Greenfield, Newcastle. Also around Rushville, Greensburg, Shelbyville, Franklin, Edinburgh, and as we look to the south around Columbus. Columbus. This is something we'll continue to watch over the next couple of days. Downtown Indianapolis seeing some sunshine right now. Still not ruling out a stray flurry. 20 degrees is where we're at. Winds out of the northwest at 18 miles per hour. And it feels like the single digits as temperatures right now are running about 14 to even 19 degrees cooler than they were during the noon hour yesterday. 20 in Marion, 20 in Muncie right now, 21 in Greensburg, 22 in Bloomington, and 19 in Crawfordsville. But once you put in that breeze, it feels like the single digits. Some of the coldest will be Lafayette and Kokomo at 3 degrees. Richmond checking in there too. Muncie at 4 and Marion at 5 degrees while Columbus feels like 6. This afternoon, windy with snow flurries. Those gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures remain pretty steady from here, and as we go into tonight, that's when they start to fall. Still expecting a chance for a few flurries, but the clouds will break tonight. By 10 o'clock, we'll fall to about 14 degrees. And as you see on Future Track 13, we still have a chance for some of that very light snow accumulation, depending wherever this band sets up. So if you're north of I-70, especially around Kokomo, Marion, Tipton, Peru, you could get another maybe inch of snow as we go through the afternoon into tonight. Tonight's overnight low, 8 degrees, chance of flurries. Wind chill will be near zero, especially for tomorrow morning as we have that frigid start. Tomorrow, more of a mix of sun and clouds, a chance of some flurries, but no accumulation for your Friday with a high of 26 degrees. As we start to look ahead towards the weekend, we have to get through Friday first, and that's when we start off with just a few clouds, chance of flurries, especially as we go into the afternoon. And then as we go into Friday night, chance of some snow showers. Again, that'll continue into your Saturday. Quick coating will be possible, especially off of Lake Michigan again as we head into your Saturday night. In the seven-day forecast, the big story for the seven-day is going to be the extreme cold for the weekend. 20 today, 26 on Friday. Then we drop to 22 degrees Friday night. Saturday, those temperatures fall throughout the day, so we'll eventually end at about 8 degrees. Wake up at 4 degrees Sunday morning with a high of only 15. On Sunday, those wind chills will more than likely be sub-zero throughout the entire day. And then we're watching early next week, late Monday into Tuesday, we could possibly see some accumulating snow. Scott? All right, Nicole, thanks. The repercussions of a brief but violent act play out in a new miniseries beginning tonight on NBC. The Slap is based on a best-selling novel from Australia that was turned into a hit TV miniseries. NBC's Mark Barger talked with the cast members of the American version. 